All right, guys, so I wanted to share a super helpful tip with you. My name's Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. All right, guys, so uh, uh, it's super hot out here, so uh, I thought of uh, something helpful that I wanted to share with you guys, so I'm just going to take a little break from doing drills right now. Um, <clears throat> and it's only been an hour, so it, I, I thought it was longer. I looked at my phone, it's only been an hour of me doing drills, and I'm, it's, it's hot. Gotta love Florida. Uh, but anyway, so something that I wanted to share, something that I had done before uh, the Nashville tournament, just really any tournament, um, this is gonna help you with, and it doesn't take a lot of paint to do this. Uh, basically, all you're gonna do is get a target, whether that's a trash can, um, or, uh, you know, damage even made like targets out of like diamond plate and, you know, just poles and, and that way they can they drilled it through I don't know exactly how they made it but they made these little targets so that when you hit it you can hear like a ding um, it'd be better to have something that you can hear what you're gonna do is uh, so let's say that um, you're getting ready for the tournament uh, it's about the week before uh, you just got done with uh, with a, a practice it could have been the first weekend it could have been the second weekend um, could have been the very last day of practice you know whatever the case may be what is going to be helpful is if you get that target and you place it in little places that you noticed after playing a lot of people went to um, and even some that you're not completely sure if somebody's going to go there but you want to have it dialed in basically what this is going to do is help you with that muscle memory so so the the order that I would recommend uh, putting that target in is uh, first put it in places that you know people are running to. Even if it was the first day of the layout and you just had a couple extra balls and you just wanted to see, okay, I need to get this laying down for sure. Like let's say people were running to the snake corner a lot. Um, and it's a good bunker. It's something that's important on this field, you know, because every field is different. Um, you know, set the, the, the target there, maybe even in different spots. Uh, maybe there's two spots that you can shoot them. So you want to shoot them in the, the first and second spot. So you can get that lane down real quick so you can shoot both of those gaps so maybe if somebody is trailing behind him you know there's a lot of things that could happen um, but you know you'll just set up that target whether it's like I said the trash can or if you actually make a target um, and then secondly what I would do is put it in places that people might go to uh, maybe you start playing a team that's doing something really weird and they end up going to you know like the the 30 Dorito like they, they go super far up the field and you know it's possible because you did it at practice but not a lot of people did it you know it, it's something that you just want to be ready for so basically what you're doing is just getting that muscle memory so that if that time comes up that you need to shoot that um, you know okay hey Greg we need you to go to this bunker and shoot this guy okay I already know that I can come up real quick and just muscle memory I've already practiced that shot and again, guys, it's only like three to five balls um, just because you want to make it where you hit the target um, with those first couple balls because the ones after that, it's just a matter of sustaining that lane. Super easy to do. But getting those first ones on target, that's where it's more important. Um, I'm sorry, that's where it's more difficult. Uh, so guys, I hope that this, uh, this tip helps you out. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.